Hello, it's Barbara Ireland with day five of the mentor series. And today's mentor is my good friend, Stone Gossard. Stone is one of the guitar players and, and a founder of the band Pearl Jam. Now Stone isn't a traditional mentor in the way the other ones have been in my life as teachers because he's a friend, but he modeled some behaviors that I really admire. So I'm including him in this series. Two qualities in particular he modeled that I really respect, humility and generosity. Humility comes because even though he has reached celebrity status, he never acts like a celebrity. I remember many times we were, we were having dinner in a restaurant and a fan would recognize him. And even though Stone and I would be deep in a conversation they, and they'd come up and interrupt, uh, he always was gracious and welcoming and asked about them and took photos with them and spent time with them and his food got cold and he never ever complained. He always appreciated everyone that came up and as soon as they left, he'd say kind things about them. I really noticed that and really admired that. Also, when we were on tour, you know, I mean, he was obviously the name people came to see. So he was, he slash the band I was in with him was the headlining act. But we always were the opening band. Because he wanted, he really, really um, respected and wanted to help support and promote this amazing up and coming teenager musician at the time, teenager. Uh, so he made that guy the headliner, Vince Mira, amazing, amazing musician. And I can see why Stone did that. But it was really cool because people, of course, came early. Uh, to see Stone's bands and see Stone, but that way they were already there and then they'd see Vince and that helped su support Vince's career. And I thought that was extremely non-celebrity, non-star-like acting, a very humble and loving act. Now on the generosity side, Stone is one of the most generous people I know financially. For me and all the bandmates, um, you know, that were in the band, the band I was in with him and other people he works with, he's always extremely financially generous for shows, recordings, even rehearsals, which is kind of uncommon. And, you know, we musicians really appreciate that because I think most musicians would agree with me when I say, Musicians are often taken advantage of because people say, oh, you know, music should be free. They're just doing something they like to do or playing this show will be a great promotion for them. So we don't need to pay them. That happens so often. It drives us all berserk because you think it's easy to play an instrument really well. You think it's easy to write music <laughs> and to plan all this stuff and buy the equipment. It's not. This is a love, yes, but it's also a job. And people don't see music that way for some reason. I, I don't quite understand because a world without music would be a, a world without joy and emotions and all sorts of things. So anyway, that's just my little soapbox on that. And Stone certainly did not feel that way. Like, oh, I'm a star, so I don't need to pay anyone to record with me because they're just going to want to do it. You know, not like that at all. Very, very amazing heart. And you know, Pearl Jam and all the people in all the members of Pearl Jam as well as Pearl Jam as a whole has donated millions of dollars, not to mention their time and energy and name to help promote and support different causes. I mean, extremely generous and never breathing a word about it. That is classy. I, think, I just think that's such a beautiful illustration of what celebrities could be doing 
with their money and their status. So I'm really grateful for Stone for modeling these behaviors for me. Um, and I don't think he really likes it when I say his name and mentor in the same sentence because we're friends. But you know what? Friends can be mentors too.